exactly that. This is the best. This is all I ever use in a driving paddock is a chair. First off, I'll do the pickup. Notice when my sheep are moving fast, I lay the dog down. A lot of our work in three sheep trialling like is done on obstacles. And the best way to teach a dog to work on obstacles is to teach a dog to work in the corner. That pup's pulling your chair over. So I take a dog and the sheep into the corner like this. This is the best way to teach a dog to work obstacles. You can get two inches movement here and there anywhere. You know. Now this is what it's actually designed for now, is to teach the dog to do that. But once you get your dog doing it really well, you don't have to walk up and down there yourself. This works out whether you've got sides on your dog or not. This is totally unnatural for a border collie. This is the dog working at under my command. Could have gone through the house yard, been quicker. <laughs> and that's what that yard's designed to. Or that's for the dog to put the sheep in a straight line, drive them, and it's also like to teach the students to be out here and, and take their sheep without all their hand signals, walk like this, push, 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 behind, behind. 
and vice versa, turn it around, keep away. Drop, get over. Drop. And it teaches the student to read their stock without the stock getting into trouble. At this stage, I haven't been able to get these guys outside of here yet. I could probably stay out here with Tui when I'm working it. Keep up, get over. But the whole idea of that is it's called a driving pen. It's just teach the dog to drive the sheep. And when you're three sheep trialling, you get one outrun, and after that it's all driving and, and obstacles. Outrun, pull to you, and it's all driving and obstacles after that. So there's only actually one dog, one, one time the dog's doing what it's naturally bred to do, and that's head and sheep. Unless they're light sheep, then he's, the dog's out the front of the sheep holding them on you and backing off, and you've got to have that sort of control on your dog as well. So that's a big difference. So what we'll do now, we will now go to that yard, and I'll work three dogs at once, and then we'll get you guys all doing obstacles. Except you. Oh, really? We'll see about that. You want to do some obstacles with the ego?